Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back with you today in my Happy Planner Rose Gold cover. My Happy Planner cover itself. I have a bunch of notes that I have to take care of this week, so I'm kind of covering them up. I hope you don't mind. Um, this planner is my work and has turned into my family um, emergency type planner um, for our family member that passed away and then for our family member that we help care for. So um, when life gets so crazy you can't even get in this and get it open, you know you got to slow down for just a minute. And there are times I could slow down and things I could not slow down for. And I still have to go back in and put some important dates of things that took place. So um, yeah. Anyways, and you can see I started planning. This was the week of the emergency. This was last week. It was kind of a try to readjust, start with the new um, the new uh, baseline of, of where we were at. And, uh, and then this is for next week. So I am going to take these out and we're going to plan. And um, even when life isn't going the way you plan, it's okay. And you just have to do the best with what you have. So today I eliminated one of my planners. And it is my Carpe Diem Reset Girl Planner. So I have a whole bunch of goodies that I got from Etsy and from, whoops, in my, um, excuse me guys, I've kind of got everything mixed in together here. Um, my Etsy order that came in at the same time as my Reset Girl order. And so, um, and a scrapbook.com order. And so I decided that I'm going to take that other one out of play because I just can't keep up everything right now. I have to be realistic in what I can and can't do. There are some things that I'll be working on project-wise for her. Um, you know, I love all the thankfulness, the meaningful um, challenge right now. And so that's going to go for something else. And then I have the kit to decorate my planner. So, and I think I'm going to put that with that meaningful. And I hopefully I'm going to get to that. And I saved that because that was cute. And this is the Crafty Girl Play Kit. And um, I also get her freebies. And if you don't do that, go to her website. Look for her monthly freebies. I love them. I love... It used to be Lister's Got a List, and now it's, you know, all this other goody stuff. So I love what she's done. And I love her. I think she's great. So isn't that cute? Get your crafty on, the reset girl. So this month is meaningful. I am not... No, you know what? I don't even have a stamp block in here right now. I don't. I can't even do this right now, so I'll have to wait on that. That's okay. And I love this month. I've read it before. Challenges are what make life mean, make life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes them meaningful. I agree. So that is my deal for the month, and I'm just going to leave it there for right now. So this is the washi that comes with it, and it's thinner, so I'm going to go ahead and put it just on the inside of the, um, the hole punch. This planner, for those who don't know, this is the, um, uh, it is the, oh goodness, sorry, I'm blanking out here, plum paper planner, and I buy it unpunched, I punch it, and then I put it in my planner, um, in this the cover and um, all of that. And I have really, really loved this planner. I don't know that I'm going to be reordering it. I was looking at some other things. Um, there's, of course, the Illustrated Faith one. I have one that I bought and it's still packed. And it's okay because it goes through 2018 and I'll probably just take out 2017 and uh, work on it from there. You know how you do that. You know, you just eh, start where you can. And, um, and it eliminates some of the bulk because these always get bulky before it's over with all the goodies we put in it. And I also have my um, Happy Planner, Faith Planner that I absolutely love. And um, I will keep that going. And after that, I'm not sure. I have a Prayer Planner that I picked up as well and ordered and that's still packed. And that's another one that will start probably with 2018. But I am... I love this paper. I may just use it in my family um, kind of scrapbooking type stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I love all these cards. I'm probably not going to put those in here. I'm probably going to use those for my other project. And 
and let me see here. So I don't need the date, so I'm not going to need that. And I think I'm going to save that as well for my other project. So let's see here. She has so much that she does that I love, love, love. So um, I know that she had fall in here, and there were there were fall things. So I'm going to leave that there. Going to leave that there. Going to leave that there. And there it is. It's fall, y'all. I knew I'd seen it. So it's going to be kind of our last real fall hoopla, and then we get into Christmas, right? So I'm going to pull this out, and I'm going to put this over here on the side. Um, I loved, I, I was so blessed, thank you Bobby, that I got to go to a um, workshop of hers um, after our family member died, and it was exactly what the doctor ordered. I needed to go, it was a faith-based workshop that the research girl does. It was at a place up here in, um, at, at, up in uh, North Texas, and um, my husband drove me up. We had a free um, hotel room. It was just, only God could have orchestrated that. And we literally drove up with enough time to eat dinner, run by Target to pick up toothbrush, toothpaste, things like that, because you know when you get busy. And um, with emergencies, those things, <laughs> you run out of them, and... <laughs> You don't have time to go get a new one, and um, so anyways, I was able to go and just be totally blessed, and Corey is a very lovely, lovely person, and um, she was so sweet. She remembered me, and they, they just made a way for me to be able to be there, and again, um, just really blessed by her, and her, not only her work, but her ministry. And I do see what she's doing as a ministry. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make that so loud when I put that down. I hope I didn't break your ears. Um, but it is it has been a real blessing to go and um, be a part of that. And, uh, and I took away a lot. Um, I know I didn't take away as much as I could, but I'm thankful for what I have. So that's okay. So I love this. Um, this just says, Hello Fall. And I'm just going to decorate with some of these goodies. I thought, well, you know what I should probably do? Gosh, I'm all over the place, aren't I? Just scattered. Let me start putting some of these down. Um, I definitely want to use the fall colored ones. Because once I get this set up, I am going to um, also keep like my menu in here. I do write down what I eat um, to keep track. And I mean... In all of these emergencies, yeah, there are those that lose weight, and I gained weight, and that's okay. Um, I need to get back on track at some point, and I will, but for right now, I know that, you know, it's, everything is in God's timing, and right now, just remembering to eat so that I don't just grab something junky is such a blessing, and that's what I'm really trying to focus on right now. Um, trying to make sure it's good, healthy food, making sure I get enough protein in a day because I am vegetarian and that is something that really can sneak up on you. And you don't need as much protein as you think you do, no doubt. But um, I do have a problem in that area, so I have to make sure that I have to st that I stay on top of that. I'm gonna put this over here. This cute little birdie. I love that bird. It's so sweet. Um, the place where our family member is, they have um, they have an Avery, an indoor Avery, and I love it. And my husband was looking at it, and he was saying, hey, that's what we need for our birds, that we can't afford a three, dollars $4,000 Avery. <laughs> so we are um, in the process of trying to figure out how to, um, I'm going to probably spend some time the next few nights drawing up plans, because he's so brilliant, and... Um, but he can, you know, get busy, and so I said, well, why don't you let me see what I can figure out? And um, so I'm super excited to um, try to get some plans drawn up for it. So I'm going to put this up here because I'm trying to make that my husband and I, though he, he drinks hot chai latte and I drink green iced tea. Um, I drink coffee. He does not. And uh, I'm trying to remember to take the time and go with him like we used to. And um, when you have been out of pocket with an emergency, just getting back in your everyday life is 
it's weird. It's hard. It's hard for your family. Um, it's, it's hard on you emotionally because you feel like, oh, I should be doing this, that, and the other. And um, I'm trying to be sure that I take the time and spend that time with my family. And I don't know if any of you understand what I'm saying, but um, it is, that's, that's the first thing, especially when you have family, my, there goes our 11, sorry guys, um, that when you've been out of pocket, you know, it's hard to get back in. And then it's also hard for your family to, because they kind of figured out how to make it without you. <laughs> that's what I figured out. And kind of hurt my feelings a little. You know, you think the world revolves around you, right? <laughs> it doesn't. At least not me. And, um, so anyways, I, uh, I had to learn that I needed to, um, give them space to get used to me being home again and to take care of the things I need to take care of. So, anyways, um, you know, it, is it bad? Is it good? It just is what it is. Not a big deal. And, um, yeah, so, you know, and I haven't been taking care of me, and that has been something that has really shown up as well lately, and, uh, a sweet friend had, you know, was trying to encourage me and say, hey, you know, you can't take care of everybody else if you're not care of yourself, and I appreciated her, and she said it in love, she wasn't bossy, she wasn't all those things that, you know, some people, they think they're helping, and they're kind of not, and, she said it in such a way that I could honestly hear her and appreciate what she was saying. So, I love this little girl. I'm going to put her right there. I love that. Glasses, that's me. My hair's kind of brown with blonde and reddish color in it. and So, I love that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to put some birdies here. And then I think I'm going to kind of let things go. Let me see here. Okay, so I want to make sure I don't lose those punch outs. I'm going to put that over there. Those are just um, like paper punch outs and these are stickers. So I'm trying to stick to the sticker. Stick to the stickers? Is that a word? In my planner and kind of go from there. So I guess that timer's going to keep going off. I don't know what that's about. Is that you, baby? All right. Thank you, baby. I hope you're cooking something good. <laughs> oh, I was only cooking something for me. Did you want something? No, 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 I'm Sorry. fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, I'm just... I, I have, like, leftover no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm videoing. Don't worry about it, though. It's okay. All right. So, okay, guys. So, mm, so I'm going to have to go get something good here, too, now that I'm putting all the menu stickers down. So, I haven't always put the menu stickers down here. I am now because I try to take something to our family member often who isn't really liking food. Um, I'm taking food tonight, and, um, yeah, so, it's important, it's very important. That's weird, they had all but one. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's weird that you wouldn't get the seventh. Okay, you guys are seeing it, and I'm not. Huh. Okay, hmm. Well, you know what, I'm going to take this one off.